What's up, folks? It's Daniel the Vape Man. I just recorded 10 minutes, and it went to shit. Anyways. Today, we are going to do in that video that I said I was going to do. The Nord versus the Quest. So, anyways, I took a couple days off, as I just said, and it was deleted. I took a couple days off because I was super-duper tired from a long week at work, and uh, today I'm still super duper tired, even though I had a day off, and tomorrow I work all day, so I'm going to be super duper tired, but I'm going to try and get out as much as I can. Anyways, folks, we're going to be doing the smock, Nord, versus the Lost Vape Quest. So, a quick rundown of both of them. This has over 1,000 ma, this one has 950. I believe this is a 2 mil capacity. This is a 3 mil capacity. Adjustable airflow. No adjustable airflow. Replacement cartilages. Replacement coils. Charging on the bottom. Charging on the side. Five clicks on for both of the motherfuckers. And to check the battery, two clicks on here. And as you pull on here. Uh, top fill. Side fill. And that's the review. Done. No, um, so, I'll make this as simple as possible, okay? I ordered a DNA Go, okay? So, it's really hard, man, because these devices are excel in other ways that the other device doesn't so it depends upon what you're looking for that will make these devices better for you now whoever wins this is going to go against the aspect uh the the yihi i don't want to say too much about it i'm still testing it out kind of disappointed kind of disappointed but it's not the ss mini i would have been definitely disappointed i probably would have thrown that in the trash uh but yeah, uh, whoever goes against that will go against that. And then whoever goes against that will go against the DNA Go. But this is a hard, hard decision. So spoiler, even though I like the Nord better, I tend to lean towards the Q2. And I don't know why. Wait, I do. So... I will tell you, if I had to pick one, I'd pick the Nord, okay? I'll get into why in a second. I'll tell you why I like the Q and why you would like hand gestures and the Q. The Q has adjustable airflow and has a smooth, sexy airflow. So sexy. And it just feels good to vape on. It packs a more stronger punch if you're doing direct lung. If you're doing mouth to lung, definitely the Nord. But if you're doing direct lung, it packs a stronger punch. But the cool thing about it is with the same hit, you can do a mouth to lung. And what I like about it is when you do the mouth to lung on typical uh, mouth to lung devices, you have to hit it a certain way. With this one, you can just rip the fuck out of it and get a killer mouth to lung. And it's so smooth, but yet packs a nice punch. Now, if you're looking more into getting your fix, flavor is not an issue, and you just want that punch, it's the quest. Hands down. Hands down. Adjustable airflow, top flow, 950 ma. Um, you can clearly see your liquid in there. I mean, you can't see it on, on the screen, but you can see it in there. And it, it just packs such a good punch. I know that Suck My Mod was saying that you can't get a true mouth to lung on it when you lower the airflow. I hit it all the way open, and I get a really good airy mouth to lung which is how i like the mouth to lung i don't like a very restrictive hit period but when i do mouth to lung i like it to be very airy and it's just perfect for me um so definitely if 
you like a mouth to lung, airy mouth to lung, or direct lung, uh, and you're more after the punch, the hit, the nick fix, I would go with this. Definitely. This does have a stronger mouth to lung. I can't handle it. Even though I just handled it. But I can't rip it like I do on there. So that is what you would go for. If you want a powerful punch, want your nick fix, want an airy mouth to lung or direct lung, the option to do either or, I would recommend the cube. Now for the Nord, it is flavor central with these mesh coils. The flavor, the, the thing that I hated about this is I knocked it over. That's what I hated about it. Uh, I asked Zamplebox uh, Family Lounge, join it if you're a member. Really cool people there. Shout out to everyone that uh, watches my videos from there that goes there. You know, all the Tims, all the Johns, all the Eddies, uh, you know, all those people. Thank you. Now, I asked for the best flavor pod, and they said the Nord. Without a doubt, it was the Nord. I don't think anyone said, I think it was one person said the, the, the Orions. Everyone else said the Nord, and so I got a Nord. And the flavor is insane, but because of that, I wanted to collect pods, because I like collecting stuff, batteries, pods, RDAs, well, goons, and mods, and... No flavor compares to the Mesh Nords. Nothing. I've never gotten flavor get in the same ballpark. I've gotten it outside of the ballpark, but I've never gotten it in the same ballpark. The flavor on these Mesh Coils mimics a Mesh Subohm or an RDA. Very, very close. It can hang with it. Definitely. It might not win, but it can hang with it. The flavor is insane. And though I said this packs more of a punch, it, it packs more of a throat punch is what I mean. And this, my God. Well, first off, the apparently, I don't know. Apparently, the point six is you're not supposed to use uh, salt nick. But you get a nick buzz way click, quicker with this one. It hits hard on the nick buzz. On this, you get a nice throat hit. You get It's just perfect in that aspect. But the really, what makes this shine is it's battery life, the mouthpiece which fits perfectly for my mouth, I don't know about yours, but for me, fits perfectly, and the flavor. And <coughs> if you know me, the main reason I love vaping is flavor. I The clouds come with it. When, you know, I, I vape. Nidar coils, Nidar dot coils on Instagram, and he makes really, really the most flavorful builds ever. But at the same time, you still get a ton of clouds, so that comes with the territory. But my main goal is flavor always. I tell anyone that's making coils for me, flavor, ramp, flavor, 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 ramp, flavor, 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 ramp. That's my top 10. I doubt that was 10, but whatever. And the flavor on this is just insane, and it has kind of ruined it for other pods. I can't enjoy that many pods because the flavor just doesn't compare. And I'm surprised people haven't, more companies haven't made replaceable uh, coils or mesh coils. I think this with the replaceable mesh coil would be insane. Like if I could take the coil and put it in here, that would be the best pod in the world, just for what it is. You know, top airflow side usb charging the mouthpiece takes a little bit to get used to and when you do hit it sometimes you touch the the the, uh, the filling screw thingy but that's what makes the nord better so if i had to pick you had my hands tied behind my back you kinky son of a bitch i would pick the nord for the flavor ergonomics are not you know it's a little bit it's easier to hold this but this feels good in the hand it feels sturdy um, basically the same size, essentially, you know, uh, just different dimensions and width. But I would pick the Nord. And it hurts to say that because I actually, out of all, spoiler, out of all the pods I own, all eight of them, um, this is definitely my second, easily. Um, 
the other ones that I've done the pros and the cons on, they're good, but they're just not comparable to these two. These two, as of now, are the two best pod systems out there, period. I think, you know, a close third would be the Zero. You get a good amount of flavor. Uh, the battery life is slacking on that, but I would say those are the top two easily. But I would go with the Nord, definitely the Nord. It's just the flavor on it is insane, insane. I'm telling you, it's so good. If you prime it right, you're using the perfect e-liquid or the salt nick. It's just amazing. It's amazing. By the way, both of these you can use regular uh, salt, uh, free base or salt nick. Uh, but man, the Nord's just, it's hard to beat. It's hard to beat if you're focused on flavor. So if you're a flavor chaser, this is by far it. It does hit really hard if you're looking for a Nick Buzz kind of deal. If you're looking for a throat hit and a more smooth and a powerful hit, then I would go with the Q. But it hurts to say this as I am Nick Buzz this fuck right now and tired. I would go with the Nord. If we're going without flavor, I would go with the Q. But if we're going off flavor, and my personal preferences, it's the Nord by a long shot, unfortunately. Or fortunately, whatever. But yeah, not much else to say. Uh, just because the flavor's better on this, I do hit this a ton. And I love it. Oh, I absolutely love it. And I love the Nord. I love them both. It's like picking your own two kids. Like, you can't pick one. And you can, but you can't say it. But I'm saying it, because shit. But yeah, folks. Anyways, that has been the verses and the hard verses. So I guess the Nord will go against the IPV Pioneer aspect. Whoever wins that will then go against the DNA Go. Which I will be using the 0.5 instead of the 1.0 ohm cartilages or whatever you want to call it. Which is more focused on flavor. I did try the 0.5 on my friends, but he had a salt nick that I don't like. Um, so using the salt nick that I would like, we'll see if it can compare to the Nord. But anyways folks, I gotta go to bed. Good night. Oh, hey, how you doing? Forgot to say goodbye. So, bye. Y'all have a good week, folks. Thank you to all our veterans and all our surface men and women. And uh, have a good week. Have a good week. It's It's been a long week for me. Love you all. Appreciate all the views, all the likes, all the support. All the friendships. I, and I, I appreciate you just talking to me. But anyways, have a good night, folks. Peace. Shout out to Kendo. Best cotton in the world. Peace.